Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another video. Today we have to analyze what is going on here in the crypto space because a Bitcoin currently is getting rejected at a very important resistance level that we also have covered yesterday. We are seeing right now a pullback and a big rejection. So is it now a good buy opportunity or a nice uh, long opportunity or do you think that maybe we are in for a major dump here? So we are going to analyze that because uh, so far this pullback is of course a potential opportunity but I am currently holding uh, a bit on the sideline here and waiting for a clear setup because if you are watching my uh, last uh, couple of videos you would know by now that I'm waiting for confirmation in order to go heavy long here and so far we didn't get that confirmation we are still waiting on the sideline and before we're gonna start with the content make sure to be subscribed on this channel help the YouTube algorithm to find these nice uh, crypto videos and of course also check out all the exchanges that I'm using like like uh, gate.io because here you can trade all the newest meme coins and uh, the newest uh, pre-sales so check that out and also if you're interested you find the the pre-sales that I'm buying into also here in the video description. So not only you find the best exchanges to use in the crypto space if you want to go long or if you want to go short, but also you find the newest pre-sales. So now let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because as you can see with this pullback that we have seen, this rejection is coming from the daily time frame. I told you that the daily time frame right now is very important and there we are having the, the heaviest resistances. And you can see that yesterday we didn't manage to close above the 200 daily moving average. We had this nice uh, pump above, but we got the close below. So this rejection is of course bearish now. The good thing is that in the four hour time frame, we are getting a nice bounce right at the 20 moving average. After the sell signal that we got here in overbought condition, you can see that we retrace down to the 20 moving average. And right now this is holding. As long as we have the four hour closes above $27,500, I think that we are in here for another retest of the 200 daily moving average right at around $28,000. I think we have the chance to test it again, but I told you that whenever we had or whenever we have a death cross, what we are seeing is a retest of it, of the 200 daily moving average. And if we're getting rejected, we most likely are in for a major drop. So in the daily time frame, this rejection is of course bearish and also you can see my own indicators that we are about to get a sell signal in overbought condition like here. That means that a retest like here of the 20 moving average currently at around $26,850 is possible. And if we're getting that retest and we're going to stay above the 20 daily moving average, I think that we have very good chances to do something like this and then pump higher and break finally the 200 daily moving average. And the only reason why I think that this uh, is possible is because we are forming a potential higher high here compared to this one, then we have higher lows. So that means that if in the next coming days we are coming down and we're gonna create a higher low compared to this one over here, then in theory we should expect here, of course, higher highs like we also did with this high here at $28,000. And that would mean that we most likely also are going to break the 200 daily moving average. So I think that this phase here that we most likely are entering right now, if we, as long as we don't break the 200 daily moving average at 28K, will be a good buy opportunity and long opportunity. I am going heavy long. I told you guys that I'm going long here on uh, gate.io and other exchanges that I'm using. Remember to use several exchanges. I'm not trading on the one exchange. I'm using all the exchanges that you find here for different I use cases for some I'm using the fiat gateway for some I'm using their debit uh, card for cryptos uh, for uh, like uh, Bybit for example gate.io or Maxi Global I'm trading with leverage always split your entries split your trades and what I'm going to open up next is a long position uh, down here at around $27,000 if we're coming down here with low leverage and the liquidation price below 20k because if somehow we would see the worst case scenario that we will come down towards 20k I can, uh, I can buy more and of course also stack more into my long position to then um, ride and 
take it with me once the Bitcoin halving is taking place because I'm expecting then the real bull run towards new, new all-time highs to be starting. And by then, of course, you want to be sitting in a nice long position. But also for the case that right now we are seeing just a pullback and a, a higher low here and afterwards a nice run up towards 40k, you of course also want to be in a nice long position, have your longs ready. And of course, so once we reach 40 to 50k, not only your Bitcoin will be worth more, but also your trade, of course, will explode then. That's why I think that here we have a very, very good buy opportunity, a long opportunity if this is going to happen. So in the next coming days, I'm expecting a retest here because we are in overbought condition of the $27,000. If it's going to hold, then I think that we are in for another retest of the 200 daily moving average and hopefully break it and push higher. The targets I told you uh, yesterday are... Um, or basically here over in the monthly time frame, the top side of the Kelton channels at 40K and the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. 40K I think is in the cards. Maybe we could even see some wicks to the upside here towards 50K, that is possible. But I think that the, the monthly closes will remain within the Kelton channel. So uh, below $40,000. And uh, if we're going to see that run up and for the worst case, I think that we can easily drop down towards the next fib line at around 22K and close also that CME gap that we have at $20,000. So those are the targets, the long term targets for the next coming three months, because I think that the next three months, they will bring a lot of volatility. Usually they are good for Bitcoin. That's why I expect that we can reach 40 to 50K. Uh, until December or January, uh, but um, it's going to be depending what will happen here in the daily time frame. If we're gonna get here daily closes above the 200 daily moving average, then we're good to go to open up some nice longs and of course push, uh, ride it up towards the next resistance at 33K. Once this is broken, then the next one is here at 40K and so on. Uh, but until then, we are at risk here. Um, to of course fall way, way lower. So we must remain here above the 20 daily moving average. Maybe we are going to squeeze between the 20 daily and the 200 daily until like middle of October. And uh, um, once we have here a breakout to the downside or to the upside, then of course uh, we can put here a nice trade in. But important for Bitcoin for the bullish scenario is now until we don't break above the 200 daily moving average that we're going to remain above the 20 daily moving average and create a higher uh, low compared to this one. Because if we start here to create um, lower lows and lower highs, then of course we are entering into a downtrend and we should expect the price to come back down towards the 20k area. All right, guys, with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now already. Later on, I'm going to do some uh, tutorials and some updates about the newest uh, pre-sales that I have invested. Uh, some of them are running quite hot. That's why I'm going uh, to show you um, again some of them because uh, I think that they are going to be very, very soon sold out, especially uh, this one um, on Telegram. So check it out. I'm going to do an update video later on and they are all linked here in the video description, uh, basically. But uh, for now, that's it, guys. If something new would happen and once I'm going to trade again or open up some new trades, then, of course, I'm going to announce that over on Discord and also on those uh, exchanges that I'm using. That's why uh, sign up to all of them with my link. So it will also be updated once I'm entering into a trade. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.